Well, it's winter time, and all the calls you get are about the same, right? Low power, won't crank, doesn't want to start, the heater doesn't work in the cab, I think my fuel's gelled, my low water light's on because of cold water leaks. Well, there's another one. I got fuel in the oil again. So we're going to take a look at fuel in the oil again and why this happened in the winter time on this particular unit. So let's take a look. Welcome to Engine Shop Joe. If you know me at all, you'll know that if you call me for help, the first thing I'm going to ask you for is an ECM image because it's the book that I read that tells me the story of this engine's life. So uh, we're going to, when it, when someone says, hey, I've got like 12% fuel dilution on my oil sample and the engine runs okay, what could be wrong? I get the image, I start looking at things. So on the top half of this, we've got a snapshot of the after treatment, what's going on there. So if you look at number one, the yellow in the top left, it says time since previous regeneration, and you can see it's it's terrible. It's five hours, eight hours, seven hours, nine hours. This is a B67 CM2350 131B in a, a service truck. And so we should be seeing about 35 to 45 hours between regenerations. 30 to 35 would be okay. Uh, 35 to 45 would be better. Okay, so we've got a huge red flag over there because we're regening basically four times to five times in the amount of time we should only be regening once. Now, if we go look at uh, over by number two, just to the left of that, it says maximum diesel particulate filter outlet temperature. And you can see those numbers are pretty high, like the engine smoking. Uh, and I say smoking because if you get the DPF filled up with a lot of soot, that's when you get those really high numbers, right? So we could also have a DPF that's bad. So that's rolling around in the back of my head. Maybe that's what's causing all this is, is the DPF hasn't been replaced and it should have been. So then I look over at the uh, maximum diesel particulate filter differential pressure and starting on the bottom I see 3.51 and that's high but not terrible. Then I see 3.4, then it goes to 4.1, 3.6, but then it goes to 2.9. Then it's back up to 4333, three, three, and then it goes to 2.4 up at the top. And if you look to the left, the temperatures are absolutely normal. 618 in, 919, and 961. And 2.4 is okay. And then the next regen, we're back up in the high numbers. So I'm going to myself, well, the DPF can't be bad. Could it be frozen? Well, it could be frozen, but only when you sit overnight and then you start it and it, it should thaw out. So what's with all this high restriction? So then I thought, well, just for, you know, what's in giggles, that's a universal concept, I think, of mechanics. Uh, I'm going to go look at the trip information. So I click on uh, trip information, and that's a big, long screen, and I just... Uh, cut a little bit out of it for you. So look down at number three. So uh, the green rectangle says engine run time. Now this is not the resettable trip. This is the full trip from the day the key was first turned on this engine. So total engine run time on this engine is 10,435 hours and 40 minutes and three seconds. And then if you look at idle time, which is total idle time on this engine, it's 8,025 hours, 53 minutes, and 43 seconds. 
if you want to make that a percentage, this engine ran 77% of its life at idle. And idle is not PTO. It's idle. PTO would be where in a service truck, you maybe you bump it up to 900 to run the pump for your, your crane or to run a weld or whatever. No, this thing just idled. And so what, hap what was happening was it would sit there and idle for most of the day in cold weather. Then the guy would take off and drive it for a half an hour on the freeway. And bang, it would want to regen. Next day, starts it up, lets it idle all day. Gets on the freeway, bam. And if you look, it makes sense. Five hours, eight hours, seven hours, nine, nine, seven. And then right towards the end there, it got up to 15, 25, 12. So his scheduling changed or how far he drove changed a little bit and that changed that that number. So uh, when you get fuel in the oil on an engine that regens by dosing fuel into the cylinders on the exhaust stroke, always look at your after treatment history and don't just assume that uh, the DPF is plugged and that's what's causing this to regen frequently. Because if I would have looked at this and was careless in my thinking, I could have, I could have come up with that. Now, it so happens I went and looked at the history on this, and this thing had a DPF put in it about a thousand hours earlier. So there was no way it was plugged. And those low values up there proved it to me. And the second one down really proved it. When we were at 919 into the filter temperature and 961 out and 2.4, totally normal. So um, always expect the unexpected and always look at all the details before you you make your call thanks for joining me on engine shop joe have a good uh christmas if i don't see you and take care see you next year